Hello everybody, I'm Daniel and I'm 20 years old. I'll tell you a story about how I caught my fiancé doing something dirty behind my back. Some people might say I went too far with my revenge, but did I? You see, I was always a hopeless romantic. I fall in love easily and do these big romantic gestures. I go above and beyond to make my girlfriend happy, but I always get my heart broken. So I decided that I'll never let myself fall so deeply for anyone until I met her. I'd love to tell you this great fairy tale story, but that's not how it ends, at least not for both of us. We were college freshmen when we met. It was the middle of the school year. I was sitting in class when a new student walked into class. She was wearing skinny jeans and an oversized Pulp Fiction t-shirt. You know, one of those cool gamer girls. I looked back just for a second. Our eyes met, and she gave me this provocative half-smile. I was immediately hooked but I had no idea how to approach someone like her. A couple of days later, I was walking down the street and I saw that there was a new Tarantino movie showing in the cinema. Instantly, I remembered that she was wearing a t-shirt with a still from his movie and decided, this is how I'm gonna ask her out. So the next day before class, I put two tickets on her desk and left a note saying, wanna go? Daniel. Class was starting soon and I was getting nervous. Why would I think that she'd go out with me? I was thinking about turning around and taking those tickets back, but I felt a gentle tap on my back. I turned around as she handed me one ticket and winked. It really looked like a movie moment. The next evening, we went to the movies. I don't even remember much about that movie as I was watching her half the time. The movie was coming to an end. I worked up the courage and took her hand. And that's how our love story started. Movies became our thing. We even had nicknames for each other. Pumpkin and Honey Bunny from her favorite film. My friends loved her. Every one of them would joke about how in the world is she dating me? But I trusted her and I felt insanely lucky. So lucky that after only five months, I decided to propose to her. I know we were young and all, but I've searched for the perfect girl and I finally found her. I got her this beautiful ring, took her to one of those drive-in movie theaters, and when the end credits were rolling, I took out the ring and asked her. She looked confused at first, and I thought to myself, oh my god, I ruined it. She'll get scared away by my stupid romantic heart. But after a second, she took the ring, put it on her finger, and said, looks pretty cool. That was her badass way of saying yes. I was beyond happy. After all my heartbreaks, I finally found the most amazing girl. Well, or so I thought. Turns out my romantic heart got me in trouble again. Our parents went crazy when we told them we're getting married, but we didn't care. We planned a small ceremony in the woods and started counting the days to it. But this perfect picture got destroyed pretty soon. It was a month before our wedding. My friends and I were planning to watch a movie on Friday night, so I invited her too. But last minute, I got her text saying that her grandpa was seriously ill, so her parents wanted the whole family together. She was really close to her family, so I didn't question it. Soon after, I got a message from another friend, Henry, saying that he caught a cold. As it was only my guy friends, they decided that we'll make it into my bachelor party. So after the movie, we went to this cool new place that had just opened. But just before going in, I saw something that just blew my mind. Henry and Lucy were sitting together, holding hands, staring into each other's eyes. I felt my blood boiling. My friends tried to calm me down. One of them said that this might not be that big of a deal. You know, maybe they're planning something for the wedding. Or they met by accident. Maybe there was some kind of explanation. I decided to go home and texted her to come to my place as soon as she's done with her family. Lucy came by. We sat down in my living room. I was picking a movie to watch and trying to make conversation. I asked, so how was your evening? She smiled like nothing happened and just said, great. I was looking at her face at the edge of the screen, trying to understand if she's lying or not. I picked out a movie, and as I was turning it on, she went to the toilet. Now, I know it's not right and all, but she left her phone, and I decided to check. And there it was, a message from Henry. Till next time, honey bunny. I really had to hold myself from smashing that phone then and there. Here I was, planning our future together, while she was cheating with one of my best friends. I had no idea what I was going to do, but this time I was not going to let some girl walk all over me. Our wedding was approaching and I came up with the perfect plan to teach her a lesson. We were planning this amazing evening, 
but she had no idea I had another plan in the back of my mind. So, it was our wedding day. The guests were gathering around in the park and I was waiting for her to arrive. The car pulled up and she got out of the car. I won't lie, she looked so beautiful that for a second I thought, maybe I have it in my heart to forgive her? But I looked at Henry and saw him smiling and watching her walk towards me in her wedding dress. No, she deserves everything she gets. Lucy stood in front of me. The music stopped playing. It was time to read our vows. She was already tearing up, expecting me to read the most beautiful words to her. I took out my phone, opened the screenshots of her messages with Henry, and started reading it out loud. Come over. I want you, I read while everybody was watching me trying to grasp the situation. You could teach him a thing or two. It took everyone a moment to understand what was going on, but as soon as I read, Tell Daniel you have to prepare for an exam or something. Everybody caught on. Lucy was trembling. Her sarcastic and provocative smile was gone from her face. She started to mumble something, but I didn't want to listen to her anymore. I turned to our guests, apologizing for wasting their time, and walked away. I have no idea exactly what happened after I left, but my friends heard that Lucy went crazy. She dropped to the ground, sobbing. Her father gave her a big speech about responsibility and how he was so disappointed in her. A couple of days after our wedding, I saw her typing something to me, but every time she would delete everything. I haven't seen her or Henry since, and I'm not sorry about how it all went down. I can't let girls treat me like dirt. At least for now, I've decided to focus on getting through college, learning to stand up for myself and love myself before I start falling for someone else.